Hello, everybody! It is I, Strategist Primus, and I have a strange feeling this episode will actually see us begin to become an Emperor. I hope. We've planned, plotted, built up a sizable kingdom, and finally, we might just see it through. If we're lucky. If we're not, they might all fall apart in the Regency again. Who knows? It's part of the fun of playing CK2, isn't it? CK2, come on. You can talk. <laughs> now, luckily for us, Kong engines are in a bit of a tussle at the moment. And definitely in disarray. And luckily for us, the part next to us is largely unaffected by this. I don't like that. But, what can you do? Oh, we still go away now. Tee -hee. Just slowly raking it in. Uh, introduced to fashion at court. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is slowly going away on me. Strangely, we've still not had any kids yet. I speak just as we have one. Our concubine has managed to get pregnant. Lucky us. Nine hundred gold. Yes! That is a lot of hacks over. We're going to need about eleven hundred for our plan, but... Breaking a thousand would be appreciable. As making a hundred is not hard. We're known as King Ale the Eagle now. For those who wish to keep good records of who has been king. He's after Guthrie the second, son of Halfdan Ze the Zealot, son of King Guthrie the Butcher himself, who is of course one of the sons of Halfdan Whiteshirt himself. Confusing enough. Good. Now, Harry wants to see this thing girly dude dead. I don't want that. I'll tell him to end his plot. He's not worth it mucking about with for a little bit of money. Let's see if there's anyone lying around. Nope. Okay. Svekor of Holland revoked the Bishopric of Arches from Inar. And he's got the dramatic portraits now. Great. Isn't he fancy? Ah, uh, boy. Another host? War. Lucky us, and it's right up your fix ass. Great. Really, Conrad? Sorry, Silrad. Really? <sighs> well, here goes nothing. That's not good. We might actually have a problem with this one. They're coming straight for Jorvik, which is not good. It generally means I have to split my forces, which is really not good, because he's in a giant murder blob. Problem is when you get this large. Lots and lots of adventurers want to mess with you. It's not nice. It's generally rude. Alrighty. Let's get them up to I don't know, around Cumbria. Uh, we are becoming rivals. Great. That's not gonna hurt me at all. Come on, boys. Get it together. As we take another long autosave. Lucky us. Game didn't crash. Alright. So is lot of need to get up there. Quickly now. Haven't got all day. Get these men. I will need every last drop of manpower for this. 
Am I kidding? There's no manpower yet. Because I want to be resolute in thwarting. I have had a daughter. And Gudrun. The problem is, it's, uh... It's, uh, not a kinetic kinetic yet. And, uh... Vassals have negative opinions of me, so I can't exactly change that anytime soon. So I'm going to go get my men together. Lucky us, we have more than enough. Eighteen thousand men are about to screaming in after them. Presumably, to the sounds of them shitting themselves. Uh, Nineteen thousand men. Lucky, I can't do math. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get him. I should smash him pretty good. And just add them in, because why the hell not? And it's charging time. For once, I'm actually good at combat. Hurry back to get this name. Good. Uh, mods sometimes will do that. Uh, because it's looking for the province name. And wow, we became brilliant and strategic in the middle of uh, chasing him off. Lucky us, and we've managed to capture him in battle. Very good. This is probably the best possible outcome for us. Sadly, he only has 12 gold yet, so I'm just going to execute his ass. But, you know, he could have had piles of money. You know, 12 gold, not worth it. Executions are way more entertaining than that. And he's hung like he should be. And we're going to go back to being a peaceful realm with a thousand gold. Look at that. Look at it. A thousand. Lucky us, we're almost there. Hopefully we'll have uh, no reason to spend any of it pretty soon. Again, we have gotten here by a series of raiding, building up Jorvik, and making sure that we're one of the wealthier nations. As you will notice, the rest of Britain is pretty dirt poor. It's taken a lot to make sure that Jorvik actually is the center of the British Isles at the moment. Hey, careful planning and a lot of reading. A serious lot of reading, mostly in Wales and northern France, southern England, some Irish, some Scottish. It is the reason they're bright red. <coughs> That might be my fault too. Uh, you know, reasons. Let's keep going. Because I would love for this to be the coronatory episode. Sadly, once we get coronated, I will. Uh, I think the last thing we're going to do in the series is finally pull the lag, the holy order, and call it a victory. Prove that we are a good Norse. Emperor. And that we have uh, been successful in our conquests. You want my uncle under you. You're fucking useless, dude. So, no. I mean, my uncle's also useless, but you're not much better. Leave it at that. He's my uncle. I want to make sure that, you know, we can uh, keep a good eye on him. Ah, okay. Any day now, we'll get enough money. Game's been going for 65 years. A little longer one, if you ask me. I've had 400 year games, but, you know, this was not intended to be one. I still think we're going to make the King of Denmark. Before I make my emperor ship, I could do that now, but then I don't get the pleasure of seeing 1100 money, money in the year 900, which makes me very happy. Well, 930 something. Ah, I call down those boats, they're costing me money. There we go. Just looking at Europe. For We've done pretty well for ourselves. The Carlingian Empire has been kind of contained, kind of not contained. 
Uh, you know, it's Carl Engines for you. Uh, these French Liberation Revolts are going after the West French. Sorry, the East French. Who are apparently Bavarian. Who are themselves fighting off. No, they, they seem to have just fallen off. Interesting. And they also have a civil war that's lollard against their uh, tyranny, which is risky in and of itself. And Christianity seems to be slowly falling apart, if I say it so myself. <clears throat> Swabian lollards and this lollard and packs of bogomists and things and monogamists here. Let's not forget the fact that all this is technically under Norseman. Nearly all of that is technically under Norseman, I should say. <clears throat> it's a weird year to be Christian. As my vassals continue to just want to blitzkrieg everything. Pow seems to be their aim this time. There seems to be a Scottish Liberation Revolt slowing down the game. Of course there is! Why wouldn't there be? Lucky us. It's not in our land. We've inherited Galway. I could improve it. I actually could improve it. And Ross, too. That costs money. Does it? Let's just click and see. We also have enough money. It does not cost money to do this, so we're going to just do that real quick. And we have enough money for our evil plants. Well, plants. We'll see whether or not they are evil. Alrighty. Let's make us the king of Denmark as well. Dilly dilly. We have gained it. Well, I shouldn't be saying dilly dilly. Why the hell am I saying dilly dilly? Anyway, we have gained it. Can we find a new empire now? We're a little under the 1,000 we need. This is all because I said the game rule two. I said three would need slightly more money. As it is, we will need another 80. We have an income of plus six. I can probably improve that if I better subdivide the realm again. Let's go looking for cousins and things who are actually alive. Uncle. Uncle has a grown son who is currently off in Constantinople. However, I can certainly invite him back. He usually can, by the way, guys. He's got decent traits. He's brawny. He's apparently attractive. Big handsome man. Yes. Good. We will give him land. Namely, the Thane of Galway. And we will also give him Ross. Making him part of the Oh, we also have most of Ireland under us for some silly reason. Yeah, boy, here we go again. Let's see if we can find ourselves somebody who's not a lord. Ah, yes, you. I remember you from a while ago. Don't know what just went beep at me. Oh. Some silly background program. Apologies about that, guys. I'm now going to give him a couple more of these. Just to clean it out of us. That'll be enough for the moment. And we'll reappoint him as our Chancellor. Now that he absolutely fucking loves us. Oh! This is, series has been a hoot to record. Except for that nasty Regency. Regencies are never fun. Well, every once in a while they might be. What the hell is that? What's that doing over here? <laughs> A bunch of tribal fins have appeared. Okay. I don't mind that. Clearly. Uh, let's disband them anyway. I don't care about a couple of men here and there. My wife is pregnant. Very good. Might even get an 
Sierra, my wife, who knew? She's frail, so let's see if she actually lives through this. I need another seer. Where's my concubine? She's alive and well. Heh. <laughs> okay, that's weird. I seem to still just go through seers like crazy. My uncle is appearing to be going after the Welsh. Good on him. And we have another daughter, concubine. Ah. I do believe we've just gained Thane. Lucky us. We've arranged a marriage between the King of Vikingland and one of our courtiers. I mean, she's practically... Oh, no, she's not nobody. She's the, um... sister to a Jarl. That's not bad. Go for it. Not one of the less important Jarls, but he's still a Jarl. Unless any of one forget it. I could use her for that, but I need the money. Come on now. Don't cheat me of my money. Demand some tribute from people. Excellent. For it is known, the tributaries and things tend to get you a bit of that money money. Just a little more. There we go. Twenty more money money, and we will be just fine. As the aisles begin to mush around again, as we now have a Scottish Norse Liberator. Okay. I clearly understand that one. Um, are you what the hell? And we have yet another da daughter, and yet another another daughter. We have four daughters. What are the odds? There we go, that's enough money. They've just allowed us to crown ourselves, I do believe. Ah, we need not titular titles. Hmm. That's not good. That means we need to create another kingdom title. Lucky us. Wait, we can become king of Poland. Guys, we we can become king of Poland. Well, gain the territory of Greater Poland, then we're practically king of Poland. Uh, let's, let's just crown ourselves the king of England as well, as long as we're here. It costs us 300 gold. We are now a triple king. Though one is, is titular. A king of Yuri, that is. Hopefully we will make another 300 gold. And get ourselves our empire. I'm so horrified by what's been happening to East out here. And one of our daughters is ill. And has been mispracticed on by my rival. Off of this damn head. As I steal his thing, it and we now have enough money to found a new empire! Huzzah! We will lose 2,500 prestige, but I think it's damn well worth it. As we now become Emperor Al, the Eagle of Jorvik. Yes, we have done it. We are now the commander. Well, not a commander, we are an emperor, damn it. We used to just be a commander. Not all that long ago. Look at that. That's a damn crown. Good beard. Crown. Yes, he's king. Not just a king. He's an emperor now. 
Let's see if we can't just get the Hiribides under us. I doubt we can, because they're not at the right culture. Great. I would, however, be almost willing to bet that if these guys weren't damn Christians, we'd get them too. We've gained a loyal so servant's name, Homer. Time to make us some money. 300 money, as I recall. We've become pink. Pink? Pink? That's terrible. I, I dare say we're uh, probably going to be a little bit... Uh, well, no, we actually are more diplomatic than we're intriguing. Oh, well. But pink... Pink, the badass Empire of Jorvik. Pink, come on now. Oh well, we'll make pink cool again. You heard me. I suppose we're stealing Byzantium's color. Ah, eight money. I just need 300. Come on now. Fine. We'll uh, release this heathen. Damn Christian. And we will uh, wait a little longer. But hey, we're an emperor now. We've done it. A pagan emperor over most of Britain parts of Scandinavia, Poland, well, a part of what would be Poland, sort of like that, kind of the Prussian part, but not exactly, well, he's getting that kind of sword, oh, okay, we learned it then. Best of druids. This color is throwing me off. Excuse me, I do believe I can fix that. Can I not? No, I do not have the mod turned on for that. Great. No, we are of Jorvik. Look at that. See, you can see us from space. Well, you know what I mean. That big name. Oh, which does mean we can get off the uh, kingdom over here. You can't just get off the kingdom, apparently. Not yet. Go for my court physician. for himself. Well, sorry, Petrol Wheel, not Greed yet. That's next, probably. Well, we've certainly come far from being a scruffy barbarian on the edges of nowhere. Now we're the emperor of the scruffy barbarians on the edges of, well, a lot of places. Wow, we're the biggest name, the Murder Blob. Nice. Are you at war with? Oh, you got this. Come on. Don't go asking me for 50 money yet. Not now, at least. You're a Celt. That's odd. And he's the leader of a plot. Oh, well, there's a rebellion. That's not good. What all do I have in the area? Not that much. No, he isn't that much. Lucky us. There we go. That will give 
is enough. Do this tiny little dispute. Yeah, tiny little dispute. Right, right. Really? Out here? Over practically. No, we got two school 10. We got this. Strike. Oh, he's going to Valhalla. He got killed by an emperor. Certainly getting a better place in Valhalla than he deserves. 165 money? Well, this part's been going for a considerably long time as it is. I think we have reached our objective. We are Emperor of Jorvik, Ale the Eagle. House of Hisvik. We've gained. 17,000 score, and we've only been playing for 69 years-ish. Seems like a good place that needs to stop this series. I would like to thank all of you for the massive amounts of support this has had. And I hope that you have all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this content. I will continue to make more of this sort of thing. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all later.